tube. So I'm under my uh, 99 Silverado here, and I wanted to show you my manual actuator I built. Here's the old actuator, and it went bad, mainly for me trying to get it to work with the manual transmission. And so I didn't want to spend another $50 and have a chance of it, or $50 to $100 and have a chance of it going out again. I didn't want to buy a manual lock-in for $150. So I built this with about $7 worth of parts. Some stuff I had, I had this cable, this spring, this clamp. What I bought was this. these threads. They're a little more fine than pipe thread. But pipe thread will work if you get plastic. This is a one inch to one inch pipe, so a one inch male adapter, PVC. And then this is a, um, I think, inch and a quarter cap. And then this is a, this is a PVC cap. And then this is inch and a half um, rubber cap. And what I did here. For a brace, I drilled a hole a little bigger than three eighths inside of this um, inside of this cap, and then I just made a real small hole in this one for a seal, so your gear lube doesn't leak out. And then up here, I had this heim joint, so I think these heim joints are pretty expensive, but I had this heim joint three eighths end, three eighths. This is a three eighths by um seven inch long bolt and it goes all the way in and pushes on the plate in here this is just a piece of aluminum uh three eighths bolt here going through the heim joint three eighths bolt here pinching the um cable i use which is like a choke cable it's like a jags choke cable um uh cable clamp here just holding the cable on i put a spring on the back of this to get some of the tension off because if you pull this cable back, it doesn't stay locked due to uh, the um, the way this is set up. It's set up so it pushes back easier on your actuator. So this here, right now it's engaged actually. So that, that's what this spring is for. So it'll keep it engaged. So I'll show you where I ran the cable so far. I just got it right now. I got it run right here. I'm gonna zip tie it right there, up out of the way of the CV axle and the steering. It's pretty far off to the side here. And I don't have it ran into the cab yet. I'm gonna zip tie it right there though. And I'll show you what I got going up top. All right, so up top here we just got a, it's like a choke cable for like a carbureted motor. And this is gonna be mounted under my dash right now. It's just kind of ran up in here, but basically kind of got some pressure on it because it's a you're pulling back a lot of tension but right there it's engaged all the way and then if you want to disengage it push back on it that easy so this will be run up under the dash so you can easy access to it and it should be a lot easier to pull once you have it in the truck so that easy so right there it's disengaged and right there, it's engaged. And it's really that easy. And once I put the skid plate back on this, this shouldn't get any exposure. Well, it will get exposure to mud and water and dirt and everything, but once I get it all back on here, I'm gonna spray some silicone spray in here and spray paint all of this so nothing rusts out and nothing will have any problems in the future. And if it does, it's a simple, simple um, way of building this and I just wanted to share it right here I didn't mention this is a piece of angle iron bolted into one of these bolts so it's pretty simple if something goes wrong you probably can tell exactly what it is just from looking at this so here I'll go again that's engaged that's disengaged again engaged and disengaged and I'll even show you here I can reach the drive shaft. So right there, it should be disengaged. Yep. And then I'll show you engaged. And that's engaged. And again, disengaged. 
And that easy. So now we're gonna run this up in the truck and I'll get back to you once I get that done. Morning YouTube, this is uh, wanted to film the outro to the video of the front actuator that I did. I didn't film it, I just uh, that's gonna be in the same video, but I just started, I just didn't have time when I finished the video to finish it completely. So I got the front actuator in, you can see the truck's real dirty. I took it uh, actually over here to a dis disclosed location and uh tried it out yesterday and works real good I'll show you what I did on the inside to uh, get it brought up mounted up in here so what I did it's whoa what's the job today what I did is I just built a bracket this is like quarter inch almost steel and you just pull it sometimes it doesn't work sometimes you got to roll the truck forward put it in gear and roll it forward a little bit but you really just pull it. I think it's locked in right now. I don't have the skid plate on yet because I didn't want to. Uh, I wanted to make sure it was working good and everything. Yep, it's actuated right now. You can see there's some mud and stuff on there. Like I said, it's gonna get a little dirty, but I'll show you where I where I ran it up through the hood. You can see I ran it up through here, right next to my steering shaft on there. Ran it up right into this. Uh, right through this boot right here. There's a lot of room next to this boot. So I just ran it up through there. I'll, un I'll deactuate it here. Push it down. Should be unlocked now. I did have a couple problems with the, you gotta go down the road a little bit for it to, un it takes a minute for it to unactuate in the axle, but there it is, pretty much how it works and all done. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.